This is Double Light SRC, and I'd like to show you my brand new SCOM 7330 repeater controller as the latest addition to the Double Light SRC repeater, which is on 446.15 megahertz with a minus 5 megahertz offset and a PL of 100 hertz. This repeater also has a preamp installed on the receive end in addition to an SC50 squelch board making the coverage a little stronger, especially on the receive end of the repeater, meaning you can talk farther into the into the repeater. So, I have an ICOM ID51A, and I'm gonna go ahead and key up the repeater so that you can hear uh, one of the IDs. Double rate SRC, testing. Welcome to the Southern Michigan Repeater Network Machine WHSRC Repeater System. Lock it in, break off the knob, and let the dog have it. I have it set to not give out squelch bursts uh, when they carry our drops if you're in tone squelch or ctcss mode on your radio and uh as you can see the light comes up for if i transfer it into here double rate src testing so you can see there's cor uh ctcss for the 100 hertz pl there's also the ptt for transmit and any code for port one now as I release the talk button, PTT and encode are still lit on the receive side. And that is how the repeater works, uh, and the controller on the transmit side of things. The repeater has a number of features, including a remote base. This remote base is not uh, frequency agile yet. The controller doesn't have a uh, firmware update for uh, frequency agile remote bases yet, but they claim to have one soon. Uh, they also claim to have support for temperature sensors and other sensors besides voltage sensors soon as well, so that I can put my outside, inside, and repeater heat seek temperature sensors on here. And also coming soon to the repeater will be an ADS SR1 voice recorder for margin data systems. It's actually against yeah, my old Simplex repeater, but it's also going to be uh, attached to port 3 of the SR1, of the SCOM 7330 as a DVR. And this is being used by Bruce K88ZXX, Brian's uh, father, Brian KCLMI, uh, his father. And he uses the uh, ADSSR1 on his 7330 as a, as a DVR and as a distance checker. Um, so I'm definitely looking forward to that. We also put in a script for this WX250 weather alert receiver. One of, the, one of these logic outputs will flash um, number 4 for a watch and number 2 for a warning. If a warning or watch is issued by the National Weather Service, it will, it will do that. Uh, and also, um, I am planning to, uh, oh yeah, I'm also planning to have my Echolink node set up as well. It's currently offline, but it should be online pretty soon. I'm not exactly sure how long. And of course, my Yazoo DL1X is still active. It has a script on the controller to tell it to go to auto uh, mode. Hang on here. And this is my, or a Windows computer. It's not mine, but it's t uh, it has TerraTerm on it for controlling the uh, controller and programming into the controller via the serial port that I have set up here through a USB hub and that goes into the controller from there so um, 
let's program some uh, some co or hit some commands on it. The code to uh, activate the remote base, which is currently in monitor mode. If you want to transmit on it, we hit A13 and it'll say remote base enabled. Remote base enabled. And now, that is the microphone that drops to the remote base, this TS2000, which the light doesn't work on it for some reason now. So if I transmit on the repeater, it'll come up with the uh, Brian KC Dolomite's repeater. I have it linked. Double rate SRC testing. Welcome to the KCHLMI analog and digital repeater system. You see on the controller that the COR for port 2 is active. And it, just, it just dropped. If I transfer it here, Double rate SRC testing. The PTT for port 2 was active, and then uh, as soon as I let go, the COR becomes active. So, if we want to disable the remote, we hit A11, and it'll say remote base disabled. Remote base disabled. And now I can just transmit on the repeater as normal. Double the radar SRC testing. And it works, so... I have some weather alert macros for whenever this WX250 kicks in. I have weather watch and weather warning. Uh, the courtesy tone and the IDs and the uh, tail message will change. Uh, and also, one of the cool things about this controller is that I can program it, and I have programmed it, to do rotating IDs. So I have 34 initial IDs rotating. I also have 22 normal IDs, normal meaning pending IDs, that come at the end of the transmission, or uh, as, a, as a 10 minute ID after the repeater's been used for a while. And I have 16, no, I have 18 tail messages, which come, uh, as you heard earlier, the lock it in one, uh, which was inspired by that by a uh, broadcast radio station. Um, I uh, decided to uh, use that and many other cool uh, things, and also reminders for PL and the time and date and other things for the uh, controller uh, for the uh, for the rotating tail messages. And I incorporate those into initial IDs as well, and even some a uh, few normal IDs. The normal IDs, of course, are going to be shorter for the uh, as to not interrupt a conversation in progress. But the initial IDs give quite a bit of information about the repeater and the functions on it and other things like that. And then I have 13 rotating top of the hour IDs, including one that plays at a special one that plays at noon and a special one that plays at midnight. The top of the hour function is disabled. Uh, I have it set to uh, be disabled between uh, just after midnight and uh, just before six the next morning. So the next one would play at six. So let's enter some more commands on this thing. With Terraterm, if we hit 411, it'll give us some repeater information. Welcome to the Southern Michigan Repeater Network 615 machine with minus off set and 100 hertz CTCSS tone at 72 watts ERP from 32 feet above ground level for a command list press 412. And if we do just that, it'll give us a list of repeater user commands. DTMF pad test press 8 5 star. Please leave space between numbers and do not use star or pound. Time and date press 400. Enable remote base press A 13. Disable with A 11 and monitor with A 12. So now let's try the DTMF keypad test. Uh, First of all, I want to show you the time and date. 
Uh, I have a number of messages at the top of the hour that say the time. Most of them do say the date as well. But if we hit 400, it'll give us the time and date. Good evening. It's 7.43 p.m. Today is Sunday, December 22nd, 2019. And so, using this radio, I have it set to the repeater frequency on the subband. I'm going to use this DTMF microphone to do the keypad test, and you'll, you'll see... This is the W-H-S-R-C-S-M-R-N repeater system. That is one of my pending IDs, normal IDs. Um, like I say, those are rotating. Uh, and... If I key up using this DTMF uh, keypad uh, microphone, it's I hit a wrong button and uh, do the keypad test, you'll see this DTMF light zoom in for, as I zoom in for port one, you'll see it light up occasionally, uh, and you'll also hear via the ICOM radio a cover tone that I uh, sort of uh, configured. I uh, changed it from the from the default setting <laughs> so i did a lot of things this both of the courtesy tones in fact are different and uh quite a bit of things timeout messages power up message for whenever there's a power uh failure what the wx250 likes to do is overtake the transmitter for the scom uh or from the scom so that it mutes all the controller audio and get go straight to the weather alert. You can't transmit on it or anything. So it likes to say the version number, so I have it set for the controller to pause until the WX250 gives the version number for the SCOM to give the version number whenever there's a power outage. So, um, with that, I will go ahead and show you the DTMF keypad test. W8SRC. Whoops. Here we go. DTMF pad test zero one two three four five six seven eight nine. Now I'm going to try the ABCD commands. Uh, buttons. You can't use star or pound because it thinks of star as an enter key and pound as a uh, I made a mistake key, a, a clear key in essence. So let me try this. Sometimes it has trouble decoding the star, so kind of hard to do this with the, the camera. Something went wrong, I guess. So. I wonder if I hit uh, the command to do that. And then a few more digits. Test 3 A B C D. There we go. So that works. So that is a brief rundown of what I have programmed for the SCOM controller. As you can see, once the carrier drops, it waits about five seconds for the DONX to go into auto mode. Uh, and that is through a timer that I have set. One of the other cool things that I can do on it, by the way, is I can listen to the weather radio. I don't have to wait for an alert uh, to hear it, so all I have to do is hit A18, and it'll say weather monitor, and immediately go to the weather radio. Weather monitor. Saturday night, mostly cloudy with a 40% chance of rain. Lows in the mid-30s. Sunday, mostly cloudy with a 40% chance of rain, possibly mixed with snow. Near steady temperature in the upper 30s. These are the 7 p.m. observations for Sunday at Detroit Metro Airport of West Fair. 
The temperature was 39 degrees, the 2.27 and the relative humidity 62%. The wind was out at 8 miles an hour, producing a wind chill of 33. The pressure was 30.16 inches and falling. At Pontiac, it was 43 degrees. So if I want to uh, terminate the weather radio, kind of deactivate the weather receiver, I hit A17. It'll come up with a message. Weather monitor off. And disable the weather radio. So there you have it. That is a brief rundown of the SCOM 7330 repeater controller as I have it set for the W8SRC repeater. 73 W8SRC.